On Friday, March 13th, Hart High School senior Rachel Theberge attended what she thought was just another normal day of high school. But little did she know, the coronavirus would lead to the school's closure for the rest of the academic year, and what appeared to be just another normal day of high school ended up being the last day she attended class on campus. Last time we had class when we were leaving school, I was like walking out with a couple of my friends and we were like, oh, like, this is so cool. We got like a month long spring break. Like, this is awesome. And then we kind of looked at each other. We were like, wait, like, what if we never go back to school? And they were just like, kind of like, oh, like, that's not going to happen. With the spread of coronavirus leading to an abrupt ending for face to face classes the rest of the semester, students and teachers had to quickly transition to an online environment, especially for a senior trying to graduate. That could be overwhelming. But Theberge says due to her teachers, the transition has been easier than you would expect. I think that they were all kind of like in shock when it happened. So at the beginning of like the whole online school thing, they would post maybe like one thing a week. So it took them a while to like already get adjusted to it. But now that we're actually like in it and doing it, they're just not really assigning that much. The pandemic has also led to the postponement of Hart High School's Class of 2020 physical graduation ceremony to a date and time not yet known. To have no idea when your high school graduation will take place can be very upsetting, but Rachel tries to remain calm and realizes we are in unprecedented times. Obviously, like, it sucks, but also, like, there's really nothing we can do about it. Like... It's not like someone is out to get us like, haha, no graduation for you, Hart. Like they're gonna try their best to give us our graduation when they can. And it's just kind of like what has to happen at this point. So like dwelling in it won't get me very far. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Gilbert Malgoza.